Growing up, we had to go to school and face people that really didn't get us, especially if you were kind of nerdy and dorky. So we're going to look at 15 that was guaranteed to get you bullied if you brought it to school. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me coming back at you with another video. Now, a few months ago, we looked at 10, 15 things that were guaranteed to get you on the bully list. We're going to look at some more things. Last time we stuck mostly at things you would bring to school or wear to school. This is probably going to deviate from school, but I think the last list might be it also. But we had a lot of fun with that list. We're going to not only look at things that will put you on the bully list, the see we're also see where it would rank on the bully meter. How many fists would you get from the bully if you showed up in it or they found out you even had it? Yeah, sometimes just finding out you had it was bad enough. So. Let's not waste any more time. I can sit here and waste time all night, but you guys don't want to hear me waste time. Let's just get back to the lip. Let's just get right to it. Man, this was probably out there. It's probably, most people are not going to have it. How about a fake Chewbacca doll wearing a cape? Look at this thing. Can you imagine all your other friends coming to school, you showing up with this ugly thing? That was guaranteed to get you on the, the bullies see that on the bus. They're just waiting for a teacher to turn their back. So let's take a look at how many fists that will get you. Eight, eight fists. If you got a Chewbacca with a cape, stay home. What about Alf? I loved Alf, Willie loved Alf, you loved Alf. We all loved Alf. Even the bullies at school loved Alf. So would they give you a bully fist if you had Alf products at your school? Product, Alf merchandise? Well, if it was a stormy day and you came to school and your Alf raincoat it was all over it's all over now whether come to school and be all wet they come to school with an alf raincoat you're just asking for trouble even if you like alf let's be honest you liked alf you watched alf you didn't talk about it you didn't let anyone know everyone at school watched it but you kind of kept it to yourself maybe among your friends but for the most part you didn't let it get out that you were an alf fan so you're not wearing a raincoat with alf on it how many fists seven seven bully fists coming to school in your ALF raincoat. Now, one of the biggest crazes going around the 80s, of course, was the Rubik's Cube. And I know this one from experience. You didn't come to school or let anyone know that you had a fake Rubik's Cube. If you had a Rubik's Cube without that Rubik's sticker on the center, I believe it was on the color white, you just hit it. You didn't want anyone to know that you got a knockoff a Rubik's Cube. There was a lot of them out there. But you wanted to show, hey, I'm a Rubik's fan. I got a real one. But if you showed up with your fakes, yeah, if you showed up with your fake Rubik's Cube, I wonder how many bull how many bully fists that would get you. Well, let's see what the rank meter says. Four. I, I might have to disagree with this. Four fist? The, re the people that did the meter didn't go to my school, i tell you that. No, they did not. Now, there's figures, and then there are doll size figures. You can play with your $6 million man. You could come to school with your Han Solo 12-inch. And you're probably going to get away with no problem. But trust me, if you show up at school with your Sonny Bono action figure, you're going to get the bullies targeted for sure. I know, it's a doll or a figure. You can call it either one. It, it doesn't matter what you call it. If a bully finds out you have a Sonny Bono doll or action figure, you're getting a bully fist, rightly so. So how many bully fists will a Sonny Bono doll get you? Eight. Eight bully fists. Believe me, you don't want eight bully fists. Trust me on that one. One thing that always will probably get you on the bully list is bringing anything to school related to Star Trek. Or let them know you're a Star Trek fan. Star Wars, you could get away with. Star Trek, no, 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 no. You didn't want people to know at school that you were a Star Trek fan. So imagine if you went to school, uh, maybe it was show and tell today. So you said, hey, I'll bring, along, so I'll bring along one of my Star Trek toys. A lot of fun, right? That's until you show up with your Captain Kirk doll. I'm not talking about a Captain Kirk action figure. I'm not talking about a... Captain Kirk hot toy, well, they didn't have them back in the 80s, or not even talking about maybe a cool model. I'm talking about a Captain the Kirk, Captain the Kirk, I'm talking about Captain Kirk doll. <sighs> That's right, a dang doll. Hey, watch my language, I'm trying to be nice here. Uh, so, if you showed up with a Captain Kirk doll, it's 
going to get you more than the fist. I mean, they're going to talk about you all. You might as well just transfer schools because you're going to be known as the kid that brought the Captain Kirk. If you, if it was third grade, eleventh grade, high school, you're still going to be called that kid with the Kirk doll. They're going to say, "Hey, where's your Kirk doll at?" Every time you want to do something. So let's see on the meter. Where does this one get you on the bully meter? Seven fist. Seven fists. I'm surprised. I uh, thought it'd be a little higher. Not, not much higher. I thought it'd be a little higher than that. Let's see what else we got. Now, when you're in the bathroom, you should be in private. You should have whatever you want in the bathroom without your bully or anyone at school finding out. But if they do find out, you better hope they don't find out you have G.I. Joe shampoo. <sighs> don't, no, no, no G.I. Joe shampoo. Again, keep that stuff and keep it under the counter. No, you, how many how many bully fists would that get you if you show up? Seven GI Joe bully fists, watching your hair with GI Joe shampoo. And hey, if you borrow someone's Star Wars figures, don't put the R two D two in the tub with you. Boyd sticker comes off. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, this one you can't really take to school, but let's say. You decided to make friends with the bully, or maybe the bully's friend, or a friend of a friend of a bully, or you just brought a friend home with you. Maybe to spend the night. Remember when you would have sleepovers, you know, ask your mom if a little Timmy Thompson can come spend the night with you? Well, let's say he did. And when he got there, and it got late at night, you know, about 9 o'clock, and everybody was getting ready for bed, that's when little Timmy Thompson noticed that, hey, you're wearing Star Wars pajamas. That's not that bad. I mean, okay, maybe you're a little older be wearing Star Wars pajamas, but then he notices your sister's wearing Star Wars pajamas. And then he notices that your brother is wearing Star Wars pajamas, and your dad, and your mom. And it's not just different Star Wars pajamas. It's a whole set of the same pajamas made for the family. It doesn't have to be just Star Wars. If you and your family all wear the same pajamas, and that leaked out at school, you have to eat your lunch under the stairwell because you're not going to be able to live that down. I mean, they're going to think you're some kind of weird religious family, probably. They're going to think you're cuckoo out there, for real. So, if the word got out that you and your family all wore the same pajamas, how many fists would that get you? Whew. That's pure death. You might as well, you're just going to get your ass beat into the ground. Like I said, you might as well switch school. Let's be honest. Anybody that's doing this is probably going to homeschool anyway. Oof, that one's certain death. Let's see what else we got. Now, we all wanted to come to school and be cool. We all had things we used to saw on television or in some kind of magazine, and we were like, we're going to go to school like this. We're going to look rad. Well, if you showed up at school wearing two watches, although you thought it looked cool in that newspaper ad you saw, no, no. It would just get you targeted by the bullies and get your butt kicked. Hell, it makes me want to kick your ass just seeing a picture of somebody wearing two watches. So how many bully fists did this get you? Let's take a look. 8.5 bully fists. I think you're about right. 8.5 on the bully fist list. Let's see what else we got. This was more of a new age thing. <laughs> wearing a Funko Pop t-shirt to school. It's kind of bad enough buying Funko Pops. I mean, I got some of them over there, but would you wear Funko Pop shirts, clothes, with Funko Pops on them? <sighs> kind of beat down. I got to see the beat down level on this one. Six. No. We're going to have to call the judges on this one. A Funko, that should be at least a nine and a half. That should be at least a nine and a half. Whew, let's see what else we got. Now, we all had to go to school wearing shoes. You couldn't show up at school without shoes. Trust me. I know. You'll get a note sent home. And, well, you get out of school early, too. You get sent home early. So that's always good. But, if you're going to come to school, you can all have all kinds of shoes. Adidas, ponies, Converse All-Stars. But do not, please, do not show up in E.T. shoes. You're just asking for it. Unless you're a girl. You might be able to get away with it if you're female. But a boy showing up with E.T. shoes. I know E.T. was a popular movie and everything. But no. You show up with E.T. shoes. You're cruising for a bruising. So let's see how many fists that will get you. Seven. We got a lot of sevens on this list. Seven bully fists for wearing ET shoes. 
another one here you can't really show up to school with it but word gets out you can have your best friend come over and word gets out now back in the 80s we all loved to talk on the telephone we didn't have cell phones we had if we got lucky we had a phone in our room with a little twisty cord on it we could spend all night talking talking to girls if you're in the boys you were talking to boys whatever or talking to your friends it didn't matter we just hung out you know you had call waiting you're like hey hold on billy's calling now, didn't you love call waiting or three-way calling remember that three-way calling where you could get your friend on the phone and, the other, and then call somebody else and they wouldn't know and you'd be like, hey, what do you think of Jennifer? Oh, you think she's uh, a dork? Well, guess what? She's on the phone. I sabotage those other kids. I remember those days. But what if you were calling girls or boys on your phone in your room and you had a He-Man phone and word got out? <sighs> not going to be able to live that down. You're not going to be able to live it down. Trust me there. Let's see what the fuck. Let's see. What's the beatdown level? For a He-Man phone, eight bully fists. I don't. I, I think that's about right. You deserve about eight bully fists, especially if you're in high school. Now, we all like to have sleepovers, right? A group of your friends get together. Maybe it's a birthday. Maybe it's just for the fun of it. Sometimes it's your friends, and maybe they'll invite some other friends. You never know who's going to show up at a sleeping party. So when you come there, you don't bring anything that's going to embarrass you or get you on the bully list. No, you just don't do it. If you show up with your Thundercat sleeping bag, they're gonna zip you up in that thing and beat you all night. And the parents won't even stop them because you have a Thundercat sleeping bag. It's gonna turn into a Thundercat's punching bag pretty quick. So how many bully fists will this get you? Let's take a look. Nine. Nine fists. And Probably a couple of feet also. Now we know without a doubt wearing underoos is pretty dorky and will get you a target of the bullies. No doubt about it. But here's something's worse than underoos. If everyone found out that you were a member of the Underoos fan club. You're probably on the FBI warning list or something. Wouldn't be surprised at that one. That's just, why do they have a fan club? What do they do? I don't, I don't even want to know what's in their fan club magazine. That's just, how many fists does that get you? How many fists? A perfect 10. 10 out of 10 bully fists. I don't blah. I agree with them. That, that I will agree with right there. Okay, let's see what else we got. This one's more for you 90s kids or early 2000s kids. Luckily, I didn't have this problem. I don't think I would have if I was in school. Showing the school. Now, Lunchbox always define who you were. I had Star Wars lunchbox, I had Temple of Doom, I had a bunch of other ones, you had a Pac-Man lunchbox. They define who you are. If you showed up at school with a Jar Jar Binks lunchbox, I don't even, whoa, I don't even want to think, whoa. Look at that, another perfect score. 10 bully fists, 10 of them in a row. I'm surprised it wasn't, wasn't any higher than the list right there. Jar Jar Binks lunchbox. Even George Lucas wouldn't carry his food in a Jar Jar Binks lunchbox. Let's see what else we got. Now, we all love playing games, right? What about handheld games? Sure, there's some cheap ones like Tiger Games. And by the 90s, you had Game Boy and a couple others to look really cool with. So in the 90s, you didn't want to show up with your Darth Vader handheld game. Just showing up with that game alone probably wouldn't get you on the bully list. If it did, it'd probably get you really low on it. But something about this one would get you on the bully list. This was not only a Hell Hill game, it also turned into a Darth Vader necklace. You heard me right. A big, ugly Darth Vader necklace. <sighs> that makes me want to go punch a baby seal just seeing it. So, on the beatdown level, what does this one get you? A five. A five? Bullshit! I call Reese. There's no way that... A five? There's no... No! 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 No, that is more than a five. Oof. Uh-uh. Mmm. That's more than a five. Trust me. Trust me. Wear a Boba... Uh, wear a Darth Vader necklace. Video game. You're gonna get more than five bully fists. Trust me on this one. And we got one more. One more. Are you ready for this one? It's a hot day, it's getting close to summer. Maybe you just had a birthday, you wanna to come to school in your new clothes and gadgets and everything will look really cool. Well, I don't care how hot it is, I don't care how bright that sun is, you do not, under any, any circumstances whatsoever, show up 
in these He-Man sunglasses. You just don't do it. Look at it. It looks like if you do, you rip that little He-Man head off and throw it in the sewer on the way to school. You hear me? Do not in the '80s show up wearing He-Man sunglasses. So what's the beatdown level on this one? Whoa! Look at all these fists. A screen full of fists, and you deserve it. You deserve it. You do. You deserve to get your your whole family should get punched in the face for wearing these glasses. Your mom should get punched in the face because she bought them for you. Your dad should get punched in the face because he donated semen to your mother to have you. Everyone in the family, all the way back, all the way back, and in the future, 20 years into the future, they should be punched in the face for you coming to school with He-Man sunglasses. No getting away around it. Well, that's a look at some things that will get you on the bully list. If you didn't see part one of this video, check out part one. Thank you. will really enjoy it. Um, that's it. Let me know. Did you have any of these items? Did it get you on the bully list? Were you the bully? Let me know that and more in the comments below. And until the next video, thumb up to any like my content, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>